Our world has never had more room for difference makers, and we need you right now. So if you're wondering where to start, start with passion. It won't fail you. In the second year of the Integrated Masters of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics, our students um, are placed in internships throughout the greater Milwaukee area in food service management, medical nutrition therapy, and community nutrition. So for these seven students, this is their food service management placement with me as the preceptor. And I always like to emphasize with them, you don't need a title to be a leader. You can be a leader really in any capacity, any organization. So our course project, we titled it Holy Bagels. And part of our graduate student cohort was responsible for doing a pop-up at the Cyber Cafe that goes along with the theme of Voices of Leadership this year, which was authenticity. So we decided to create bagel sandwiches. Each one of us chose a different flavor or something that we loved. We have a Mount Mary bagel, and so we've been selling that at the Cyber Cafe for the last two weeks. It's been an awesome experience to learn more how to be a leader, and I think it'll be really valuable once we move on to other rotations or once we move into the real world and start working. Working with each other and being our own managers has been really valuable and teaching us a lot. And it's just been a really great experience. I've enjoyed it a lot. So for Fashion Design One, we took April Hansen's phrase, don't round your edges, and we flipped that on its head and we called our project Define Your Edges. So students went into what is it that makes them, them. And then we translated that into a garment. So what does that look like with color, with form, with texture? So it's a pretty challenging assignment. It shows them that there are so many places that they can find inspiration and they can find jumping off points to get their project work started. And that's what makes design truly unique when you can find those sources and work with the unexpected. It was very interesting kind of just working on this project and trying to figure out like what kind of ways I wanted to go. One of the most important aspects of that project was going through our mind map and it just kind of made me really like broaden like the things about myself. So it was very like nerve wracking, like kind of expressing to my teacher and my classmates about kind of like the struggles I've been going through for so long. And it definitely showed me that there's like more support around me than I think. And I feel like it's super important for like women to stand with each other and to share our struggles because we're all here for each other. And I feel like it's just definitely built my education. Every time I've been in a women's leadership program, I feel like I've learned more from them than like I feel like I ever would in a lifetime. And I think that's super important. Henry Shine has partnered with the Interior Architecture Department for their spring of 2023 commercial. They are looking really great. I think it's exciting to see how everyone's project is different, even with the same building shell and very similar parameters. Everyone has different ideas, different color schemes. Seeing the transition of how the designer looks at the building as a whole and needing to understand um, the building in its entirety, even though they're focusing on the interior, they impact and they can influence a lot of the other things. So being aware of all of these codes, regulations and standards is imperative to design a good space. So right now we're currently working on a dental office project. So our entire design department basically got a very specific um, dentistry office and a very specific location and demographic of people. They've been coming in uh, about bi-weekly probably to just kind of review our projects, talk with us. It's been really great to have professional insight on all of that and they've been super uplifting throughout it all too. In my two classes for painting and printmaking, students are invested in building their own um, short portfolios or small um, numbers of works that are thematically arranged and uh, the artistic process. They are engaged in research and reflection in an ongoing way to kind of get closer to their content and the meaning of their work. At the moment we are doing a project that is supposed to branch out from what we're usually doing and we're drawing inspiration from artists that we feel like coincides with us. In terms of my artwork I really like to create landscapes and I feel like that is a good way of expressing myself and a good way of being like authentic to who I am. I've always been super shy and like in my shell. Going into all these art classes, I'm able to express myself more. 
For my course project in my college writing research class, we are making digital stories. And in that, we're just taking information that we have encountered in our lives and presenting it in a podcast format. And so I personally chose to do mine on how we can't believe information unless it's presented directly to our faces. It's created such an empowering place for women to speak on issues. With all the coursework we've done, it's just made me feel a lot more confident and comfortable speaking out. And so I felt like I was able to talk about this topic that a lot of young girls probably face and that they don't really have any guidance on and I'm offering them guidance. So I feel like in a way I'm giving back to my community that way by going through this hard thing and sharing about it. I feel like this experience has been a great impact on me because it helps with in the future how I want to be authentic in the workplace because UX design is a very male dominated field still especially with it being in STEM, and so how to be myself while still being able to work with the team and appreciate everyone else's authenticity as well. Bringing the coursework with Voices of Leadership really helps just because it gives us an idea of how we can use this in the future and it gives a more real world feel to the projects that we're doing in class. My students were working with two books. Um, this is a coming of age young adult literature class. So I had my students write five haiku on how to listen, how to see, how to believe. They could take a pick. And then they took their haiku, they created origami butterflies, and they used their haiku to decorate the butterflies. Some did posters, some created mobiles, one created a mask. Uh, all of them said that this was a point where they felt like school was healing them. I'm also teaching my students that the young adult moment is the moment where you finally start to figure out who you are independent of your parents and hopefully independent of your friends so you really become your own authentic self. And the topic fits very well in with this year's leadership event. I think it helps the students realize that writing is a legitimate skill and it's one that they can take out into the world as leaders.